All right. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And today we're going to take a look at what that potato head Biden has done to further the war on Americans. We start out with this. Release them all immediately. An email to ICE officers reveals chaos after Biden halted deportations. On potato head Biden's first day in office, the Department of Homeland Security issued a sweeping directive calling for a 100-day pause in deportations. As of midnight tonight, stop all removals. This includes Mexican bus runs, charter flights, and commercial removals until further notice. All cases are to be considered. No significant likelihood of removal in the foreseeable future. Release them all immediately. No sponsor available is not acceptable any longer. So there you go, Americans. Now anybody can just storm our borders and Joe don't give a shit. Just come on in. All anybody. All right. Well, that's just a start here. I mean, there couldn't be anything else, right? Wrong. Biden, the potato head stops Trump's order to slash prices of insulin and EpiPen. <laughs> Fucking idiot. President Joe Biden's United States Department of Health and Human Services on Thursday stopped executive orders from his predecessor designed to significantly lower prescription drug prices for Americans, including insulin and epinephrine. So there you go. Anybody with diabetes and other problems? Slow Joe. Ramming it up your butt. Biden reversed Trump's executive order to reduce pricing for insulin and epinephrine. Democrats want higher insulin prices? They don't know what the fuck they voted for. They just look on TV and CNN and MSNBC and her orange man bad, orange man bad. Oh, I must. I probably should vote for Biden. Yeah, well, that's going to come back to bite you in the ass. All right, let's see what else he fucked up. Slow Joe. There's nothing we can do to change the trajectory of the pandemic in the next several months. If we fail to act, there will be a wave of evictions and foreclosures in the coming months. On, as this pandemic rages on, because there's nothing we can do to change the trajectory of the pandemic in the next several months. Nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. All I heard from the lefty lunatics was Trump ain't doing enough. What the hell is Trump doing to stop the pandemics? It's his fault. He's got to stop it. No. Nah. On, as this pandemic rages on, because there's nothing we can do to change the trajectory of the pandemic in the next several months. Really, Joe? October 30th, 2020. I'm not going to shut down the country. I'm not going to shut down the economy. I'm going to shut down the virus. Well, you just said there's nothing we can do. We you change your mind? Here's some funny stuff over on Twitchy. I don't remember. I don't know if you guys remember, but on the campaign trail, Joe Biden promises to cure cancer. Remember that? I didn't see the Alzheimer's and diabetes, but I'll guarantee you, he he promised to cure cancer. So here's some funny. <laughs> Joe Biden promises you that he will cure cancer if you vote for him. All this time, he knows he can cure cancer, Alzheimer's, and diabetes. He's only going to do it if he becomes president. Only if you elect. Otherwise, you're shit out of luck, mate. He's dying with those secrets. <laughs> and he's been sitting on this? What a terrible person. He will only save lives if you vote for him. Well, I think we know why he's promising a cure for Alzheimer's. <laughs> The fucking potato head has it. Okay. Don't take my word for it.
sure that uh, I promise you. Uh, you heard that? I promise you. If I'm elected the president, you're going to see the single most important thing that changes in America is we're going to cure cancer. He's going to cure cancer. Let's hear that again. Worked so hard in my career to make sure that uh, I promise you, uh, if I'm elected the president, you're going to see the single most important thing that changes in America is we're going to cure cancer. Uh, you think I'm... And the crowd goes wild because slow potato head Biden is going to cure cancer. <laughs> oh, what a fucking jerk off. Okay, let's go over to the LIUNA website because Joe's busy right now curing cancer. So let's see if he did anything else to on his war against America. LIUNA, the Labor's International Union of North America, made the following statement. This was November 7th, 2020. You can read this yourself, but here, here's the good part. When Joe Biden, potato head slow Joe, and Kamala Harris take office next January, we will have two of our own in the highest offices in the land, Potato Head and Kamala truly understand the trials and tribulations of working men and women. Oh, they sure do. They never forget where they came from. <laughs> Joe forgets where he came from. And they value hard work and the people who do it. I am confident that over the next four years, they will build back better. What a jerk off. Restore our standing in the world and help all Americans prosper and succeed. Okay, great statement. Insulting labor unions that endorse Biden are now lashing out at him. Joe Biden has already made labor re unions regret their support for him. Let's see, it's not just one union, the Laborers International Union of North America, who we just heard from, in a statement about the glory of Potato Head Biden and his weirdo assistant. The Biden administration's decision to cancel the XL pipeline on day one is both insulting and disappointing to the thousands of hardworking LIUNA members who will lose good paying middle class family supporting jobs by blocking this 100% union project and pandering to environmental extremists, you watch, the left is going to start eating its own, a thousand union jobs will immediately vanish, and 10,000 more additional jobs will be foregone. Well, what do you think was going to happen, you dumbass? Here he is, General President Terry O'Sullivan, that made this ass nine comment about, oh, thank God the guys are in. Yeah, what do you think now, you dumb fuck? All right, let's end it with this, shall we? Remember, Joe's only been here three days in less than 72 hours. Joe Potato Head Dumbass Biden has killed 70,000 jobs, eliminated women's sports with his nonsense transgender executive order allowing men to compete in women's sports, invaded Syria, left the National Guard to freeze in a garage, admitted he doesn't have a plan to fight COVID, nothing we can do about it, broke his own mask mandate on the first day, and ended U.S. energy independence. Good news, it's only been three days. Can't wait to see what he comes up with today. All right, that's going to do it for today's edition of the Aimless News. Subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, because remember, the aimless news must be told. <laughs>